Hello, everybody, and welcome to Kim Kimchi Yong Sam's Fables Day Two. Today, we are going to look at the British fable, the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper of Hamelin.、Uh, this is a poem by British author Robert Browning, and it's about a town which was overrun with rats. The mayor of the town paid a man with a magical pipe to lure the rats away. However, this story ends in a sinister way. Okay, let's get into the story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. The town of Hamelin was once full of rats. They ate all the food, troubled sleeping babies, and made a lot of noise. The people had grown tired of the rats, but were unable to do anything. Even the cats were not able to kill the rats. Okay, let's have a look at our vocabulary. Our first word here is troubled, which is an adjective and means disturbed. We have noise, which is a noun and it sounds. Grown, verb, became more. And unable, adjective. Cannot. One day, a queer fella with piercing eyes came to town. He was called the Pied Piper. He went to the mayor and asked him, "What will you pay me if I free your town of every single rat?" The mayor offered fifty pounds to the Pied Piper. Our vocabulary: queer, adjective. Old English meaning strange. Piercing, adjective, sharp or searching. Offered, verb, to give. Pounds, noun, the British currency. Happy with their offer, the Pied Piper started playing his pipe. Hearing the shrill, keen note, every rat came out of its hole and started following him. The Pied Piper kept on playing his pipe, and the rats followed him. The Piper walked up to the harbour with millions of rats behind him, and led them into the water, and he waited until every rat had drowned. Vocabulary: shrill. Adjective, high-pitched noise. Harbour, noun, a port, dock, boatyard. Millions, a number, has six zeros. Example: one million. Drowned, verb, to die breathing in water. After all the rats were dead. The Pied Piper returned and asked the mayor for his money. The mayor said that he could only give him twenty pounds for such an easy job. Now that the rats were dead, the mayor thought that there was nothing to worry about. But the Pied Piper wanted to teach him a lesson. Vocabulary: returned, verb, come back, easy. Adjective, not hard or difficult. Worry, verb, be concerned. Teach, verb, educate. This time he played a different tune. Hearing his music, the children came out of their houses. They started following the piper, dancing and shouting. The elders watched in disbelief as the Pied Piper led the children far, far away. The mayor sent his men to look for the piper and bring the children back, but none could find the lost children. Vocabulary: different, adjective, another, tune, noun, musical note or melody, hearing. Verb, listening. Disbelief, noun, don't believe.
Okay, so that is the story of the Pied Piper of Hamelin. So now let's have a look at the moral of the story. The moral or the meaning of this tale is that cheating people can have unexpected and dreadful consequences. The term Pied Piper has entered the language in the sense of someone who, by means of personal charm, entices people to follow him or her, usually to disappointment or misfortune. If you enjoyed this British fable of the Pied Piper of Hamelin, then please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to hear more, subscribe. See you next time.